Hey Shulkbox, how's it going? Welcome to another video. My name's Ollie, and uh, i got a little unboxing here. So I've got a few channels here on YouTube. I've got this one, which is Shulkbox, which is all about technology and tech. We just did, amazingly, it was the best thing ever, the Pixel 4 unboxing. Um, newsflash, it was in a cereal box. Yet to try the cereal. That is exciting. Um, but the other one is all about vlogging. Um, unfortunately... This uh, lens here and a couple of other things I need, I don't have yet. So this is what this is all about. I just thought I'd do a little unboxing here. I don't think there's going to be, you know, all that much fanfare about this video. So one of the problems I've got at the moment is I'm doing all the vlogging on a phone, uh, which takes up a lot of storage. It also means that I have to edit it on the phone and I'd much rather have a separate device purely for vlogging. So. That's what we got here. So there's three things I've got here. The first thing is a battery pack, uh, a few battery, extra batteries for the Sony A6400, which is a great vlogging camera. So it comes with two batteries. Ooh. So it comes with a little dock. Uh, this is from RAV Power. That this was pretty highly rated on the Amazon store. I don't know if the batteries will last as long as the official ones, but uh, the official ones are way more expensive, so I don't mind buying the cheaper ones for now. Um, so you get two batteries that you just plug in like so, and there you go. So extra batteries when we're on the go, I'll be able to charge up the camera, no problem. Obviously it comes with a cable. I have a million of these, so I don't want any more. Uh, next up in the box is something really freaking boring, but it comes in a wooden box. Check this out. So as you can see, it's literally a wooden box. How do I get in here? Do I have to? Today has been such a weird unboxing day. So, amazingly, <laughs> in here is a wooden box for, we got wipes. Some of you might have seen where this is going. A few stickers. Um, this is all for a screen protector for the viewfinder. So that's the screen protector. It's, it's just for the camera, um, just to stop you know, checking this in a bag or having this out and about, I want to protect the screen as much as possible. So a little screen protector there, but super weird that it came in a little wooden box. That's so bizarre. And last but not least, the piece de resistance, which is going to make all of this worth it, is a new lens. This is the 10 to 18 f4 lens. Um, it is a fantastic wide angle lens and it is a lot better than what I've got now, which is a 18 to 135 millimeter lens. Okay, so opening the box here. This is quite an expensive lens, um, but from what I've heard, it's a really good quality lens and does exactly what I want, which is super wide angle. Um, obviously 10 millimeter is pretty wide, but it's not a full frame lens, so it won't technically look like a 10 millimeter lens. It'd be a little, a little more than that. Um, so obviously you have the plastic cover, but this feels fairly weighty. Um, it's not as heavy as the one I've got now, which is pretty, beastly but this is a f i'm gonna keep this lens around because this one is fantastic it's 135 mil goes up to which is absolutely amazing for zooming in longer range shots or even trying to get a macro shot it's quite interesting and getting some insane detail it's quite a high quality lens there we go let's pop that on there you go so that is way better for capturing what i want so this is obviously the setup here so got a little screen uh, it's now super I don't think it's much lighter but the weight distribution the weight distribution is way nicer let me just stick this on here that's the wrong one there you go so we've got the lens there that's for the camera uh, it does come with a hood but I'm not going to use that just because weight and trying to keep the camera weight as little as possible and also the footprint as low as possible so there we go. The only thing about uh, this lens is it zooms out like it gets longer when you zoom out, which is kind of odd. Um, you expect it when you want a wider field of view for it to go in, but that's just not how optics work in this case. So there we go. It's a beautiful, beautiful lens. Just see if I can get that focused for you. Has this obviously really nice curvature on it. So I really need to be careful. I might actually put the hood on it, but in terms of vlogging, absolutely perfect. I can have it up to like here and it's 
see it like obviously there's a lot of distortion there because 10 millimeter is i think 12 might be a really nice spot kind of nice and it's like a nice i can hold it uh it's not going to be too difficult it's not too heavy it's a little bit the only thing about the setup that I've got at the moment, obviously I've got to do the screen protector, is I wish this was USB-C because so many things I've got right now are USB-C. It's this really annoying micro USB connector which always breaks and I have a million of these cables, um, but I just don't have a million of the chargers anymore uh, just because of the devices I have are all USB-C now. So that's a little bit annoying. But there we go. So that's my new vlogging camera. Um, if you want to see the vlogs, I'll link to it in the description. A uh, little unboxing there, not much else to talk about other than the fact that that's the setup. So thanks for watching and yeah, see you soon.